The quarry continues. Abby is not looking so good. And Nick doesn't have skin and also is a murderer. Aside from that, it's not bad. So, uh, why didn't you come? Pardon me, Dylan. The past two months. We did come. One night early. Hot. That was our mistake. Flashback. What, what happened after the after the prologue? She got injected with a syringe. Guess Max was still alive. Now yeah, let's uh, see where this goes. Popped. I see. What have you done to Max? Shut up. You can't just- Shut up! This is an interrogation. I ask, you answer. Let's stay neutral. <clears throat> name. I'll say your name, I guess. Laura Kearney. Who are you traveling with? And what is your relationship? Max Brindley, he's my boyfriend. Where were you headed last night? To Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. You already know this. What have you done with Max? No. I ask, you answer. That's how this works. Fine. Fine. What do you want to know? Oh. Well... Ah, uh, why are we going to hack his quarry last night? Max and I are camp counselors. Oh, bullshit. Counselors aren't due until today. I told you, we drove up and got there early. We figured we'd just go to camp. Why didn't you go to the motel like I told you? Because we were, like, way closer to the camp, and we're broke. Mm-hmm. Okay, Sheriff. Okay, Sheriff. Hackett. Wait, Hackett? Like, Chris Hackett? Don't change the subject. What the fuck is going on here, man? You have no idea what's going on here. Not a goddamn clue. You just stepped in some grade A double prime, go ahead and kill yourself cosmic type shit, young lady. And your only option? is to buckle the fuck up and do what I say. Do you understand? I'm 
Uh, okay, sure, okay. Please. You just stop trying to intimidate me and tell me what the fuck is going on. Is, is Max alive? I feel like I'm going crazy. Let's, let's see where, what we're doing. Let's go. Hey. Hey, you asshole. You want to tell us what the fuck's going on? Max! I know you hear me. Are you okay? Max! Are you okay? Are you serious? You just left me to fucking die, Lord. Do you really care if I'm okay? Well, I, I was going to get some help. That's what I was doing. God. I don't know what to say, Max. I... I was terrified out of my mind. I, I don't know what I was thinking. I guess I can't expect you to think clearly in a situation like, well, whatever that was. I'm sorry. I'll get over it. Laura? Yeah? Why am I naked? What? I mean, after we got attacked, the next thing I know, I'm waking up in a jail cell, and you're gone, and now you're back again, and, and, and I'm super naked, and there's blood and stuff everywhere. I mean, what the fuck happened? I was hoping you might know. I was kind of hoping you could tell me what happened. I feel like I remember bits and pieces, but none of it makes any sense. Yeah, same. I, I feel like... Were we drugged? I feel like maybe we were drugged. By a cop? Do they do that? Who does this guy think he is? Well, Sheriff of North Kill, apparently. North Kill? Yeah. Max! What? Did you even look at the map? Hackett's Quarry in North Kill. That's the town. Oh. And it gets better. I gotta look at his name badge, and... Get dressed. What's he giving you? Not gonna be the guest of honor at Fashion Week, I'll tell you that much. Hey! Did I say you could talk to each other? Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. We'll be quiet. We will? Max? Hey, what'd you do with my real girlfriend? Those women be talking, right? All right, buddy. Hands through the bars. Come on. Your turn. Let's go. I'm not going anywhere. We can talk right here. Come on. Hey, hey. Let's Get go. the fuck off. Come on. Move. Good boy. Hey! Stop struggling! Calm down, Max. Calm down. Calm down. 
and you're only making it worse. Laura. What the hell did you do to her? Shut up. Okay. Okay. Think, Laura, think. There's gotta be something in here you can use. All right, let's, let's see. Now, since this is a, uh, a flashback, I guess that means Laura can't actually die. But the other two, uh, Max and the Sheriff, could potentially die. Not a chance. I need some sort of lever. We'll just leave that in there for now, I guess. And put that back. Watch it, man. I bruise easily. Give me a break. The second we get out of here, you're toast, motherfucker. Sure. Second you get out. I mean, we'll answer the questions. Wait, wait, well, answer your questions. You just can't lock us up in here with no goddamn explanation and expect us to be all butter and cupcakes, okay? Just work with us here. You have nothing to bargain with. Come on. Come on! <laughs> Leave us in here! Hey! Come back! Fuck! Some binky bucky. Are you okay? Are you okay? It's just a foot. It'll heal. Especially when I explode later. Oh. Yeah. Can't break old Max. Many have tried, many have failed. I'm being serious, Max. He just... He asked a lot of dumb questions. All right, I don't know. Would you get off my back? Jeez, I'm sorry. Oh, hey, did you get a look at his name badge? You mean it's not really Detective Dick Whip it? It's Hackett. Sheriff Hackett. You think he's related to Chris Hackett? Oh my god, like THE Chris Hackett? Yeah. Who's THE Chris Hackett? As in camp leader Mr. Hackett of Hackett's Quarry, remember? Last night feels like a lifetime ago. The fuck does that mean, though? You know? Where we set up? Maybe it's some kind of crazy camp counselor kidnapping ring. That's... I mean... What? He's not acting like a kidnapper. Well, I guess Sheriff Hackett's not exactly acting like a typical kidnapper, but 
He's not acting like a typical cop, either. Well, how do you know how kidnappers act? I'm just trying to get us out of here, and I can't get us out of here until I have some clue of why the fuck we're in here. I don't know. What if we can't make sense of it? What? Well, you have to. Sometimes things just don't make sense. What then? We're just stuck in a backwater jail cell for the rest of our lives? Well, it's not forever. This isn't forever, Max. You, you can't just hold us here forever. We know Laura gets out, at least. You gotta stay positive. You can't think like that. Why not? Might as well just accept it, right? No, fuck that. Think about the rest of the summer, Max. And school? I mean, I've been dreaming about becoming a vet since I was five years old. I'm not gonna let this fleabag fuckface stop me. First, we're gonna get the hell out of this mess and enjoy the rest of summer. And then college. I mean, we're gonna freaking crush it at orientation. We gotta get all our classes down. Laura. Did you look at all the options, by the way? I mean, it's a lot easier for me because I just need the classes that'll let me major in veterinary sciences. Laura. But you're undecided, so you have to make sure you get a really good balance of Laura. everything. Stop. Why? I... I didn't get in. What? I got rejected from the waitlist. Oh, no! Why didn't you tell me? I... I was embarrassed. Wait, your grades were good and you wrote a great essay? Yeah, apparently not good enough. Fuck! You've been making plans, Max, what the fuck? I don't know, what do you want me to say? Well, I'm sorry about that, Max. I'm sorry, Max. This... This really sucks. Oh, my path updated because I empathized. This summer. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have kept it from you. You know you can talk to me about anything, right? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Man, these choices make it sound like Max is actually uh, surviving later into the story. Great. Sign me up. We need to go over it from the beginning. Like from when we left home? Like from when we ran into the cop. So after we ran into the... Whatever we ran into? Yeah. Actually... Yeah, that's when shit started getting weird. The dude acted super weird when we said we almost hit an animal, you remember that? It was like he already knew or something. Yeah. Yeah, that was really sketchy. What if he's not even a real cop? Well, he's got to be dirty, but... I mean, I think he's a real cop. We're in a police station. I mean, yeah, but there's like... nobody else around. Yeah, that is concerning. Especially the whole hack and hack it thing. Let's just go with the idea that they're both in on it. Okay. So we're supposed to meet Chris Hackett at the camp, and instead, there's nobody there, and we get attacked by something, and then the cop shows up. That part's all fuzzy for me. Like, I, I remember the steps and a smell like wet fur and a, a dog collar with the name Ian on it. Ian? Ian. I don't think it was a dog that attacked us. Whatever it was, was big. Like, person-sized big. Yeah, it really did a number on you. Like, I'm surprised you're not more messed up. Like, like, like I vividly remember the thing's teeth ripping into you. What is messed up about that is... Laura, I don't have a scratch on me. What? Hey, okay, so weird question. Do you remember... before we got lost? You got lost? Well, yeah, but before that, I was all like, whoa, look at the moon. It's so big, so cool to see a full moon in the middle of the woods. And you were all like, yeah, no shit, Max, it happens once a month. Yeah, so? Right, so, you know, full moon. 
Yeah. Oh, is Max the one putting it together? What if... Uh... Okay. No. Stop. I'm just saying, you know, maybe there's a slight chance... It was a werewolf. He said it. He said the word. Are you out of... Goddamn mine? <sighs> Werewolves? Seriously? What the fuck? What? 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 What's so funny? I said literally the exact same thing. Okay. Do you, you got anything better? I mean, like, zombies, aliens, time-hopping Draculas? You want answers? Ryan, right? Yeah. You want answers? I've got answers. Interrupt me again, you're on your own. <laughs> Whatever. Dylan seems to be enjoying it. Would it really be so crazy? With all the shit that we've been seeing with Nick? With the thing on the roof? Okay, it would really start to explain a lot of stuff. Dylan. I'm just trying to keep an open mind, okay? This is like your ghost stories. How is this so different from your ghost those, stories? Those are, those are just campfire stories. Like, there has to be a rational explanation for everything, for all of this. Okay, you were not talking so rational when you separated my hand from the rest of my body. You told me to. And if it's bite with which you're faced, cleave limb from torso with great haste. What? You did the right thing. See? She's got a whole poem about it. There's more to all this than you think. Just let me finish, and you can decide for yourself if you believe me or not. I don't care. But I think you should hear all of it. The next few weeks were long. The cop kept us fed and let us take showers, but aside from that, we barely saw him. Max and I, we talked a lot, as much as we could about what happened that night. It was like trading conspiracy theories. We talked about the cop, the camp, the accident, the woods, the thing in the basement, what happened to Max, we just kept going over it all again and again, and nothing was making sense. All we knew is that we needed to get out of there. I can't take this anymore. It's not that bad. They're probably in the same crap at camp. No, I can't take being in here anymore. Oh. Yeah, well, that part's pretty tough. We've got to do something. We've got to get out of here. We need a, p a plan. We well, keep saying that, but it's been weeks, so, you know, let me know if you have one. That's really not very helpful, Max. You are forgetting something. What? Just the ETBT tiny detail that I may or may not be a fucking werewolf, you Laura. Just keep it down. So what? What can we do, really? We run off into the sunset only to be stopped when I turn into a nasty ass monster and kill you and eat you and then I run off alone into the sunset with little bits of you stuck in my teeth? Okay, okay, stop. Just one problem at a time. All right, we, we don't even know if that's what's really going on and we won't until we get the hell out of here. Okay. Well, it seems to me that we only have two real options. We can play nice and try to get this guy on our side. What, so he'll let us go? Or... We try to catch him off guard and make our escape. Um... I would have been trying to butter him up. So... Let's say we get on his good side. What then? Brunch in mimosas every Sunday till he sees the error of his ways? Yeah, I was being rhetorical. The dude doesn't have a good side to get on. I mean, he don't even talk to us half the time. I don't know, I think we could crack him. Laura, I think he's just biding his time until he can figure out a way to get rid of us. Permanently. If he wanted to kill us, he could have done that day one. I think we should try. I mean, if he was gonna kill us, we'd be dead by now. So what's he waiting for? Look, we just... If this doesn't work, 
We try to escape. Deal? Yeah. Deal. So, all right, how are we supposed to get this guy to like us if he won't even talk to us? I don't know. I mean, he's got to have a weak spot, like something we can use. It's not like we don't have time to figure it out. Yeah. Okay. We have a lot of time to talk about this. I'm surprised they weren't talking about a plan already for the weeks they've been in there. Hey, hey. T-Money. Can I call you T-Money? Why? You can call me Officer Hackett. Hackett? Like as in Hackett's quarry? What's it to you? Just interested is all. Feel like we hardly know you. Well, let's keep it that way, okay? Oh, come on, T-Money, lighten up, man. No reason we can't be buds, right? I can think of seven. Uh, that, 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 I loved you and Xena. You're right. We've been just awful, and we really want to make it up to you. Oh. I see what you're doing. Well, it's not gonna work. You think we're just gonna be besties, and I'm gonna let you walk right out of here. Not gonna happen. Asshole! Max! We know what's going on! We know Max is a werewolf! Full moon's in a few days, right? What, what then? No, ma'am. You don't know the half of it. I said, take your fucking clothes off. Fuck off! Get back! Max, what's going on? I mean, he, he is going to shred those clothes. It would be a waste of clothes. Come here. Shut up. Have a seat. Stop! Quit squirming. Said you want to be a vet, right? Call us an internship. Let me go! You're not going to believe it until you see it for yourself. Just fucking ask next time then, dude. Jeez. Don't get too close. Mm-hmm. Just wrapping things up here. Let's see where it goes. Down to 20. Over. What's gonna happen? Well, I'll tell you. It's not gonna be pretty. But don't worry. I'll be back at dawn. You're really gonna leave me here? You'll be fine. Just don't get too close. I'm here for you, Max. Don't worry, Max. I'm here. Yeah. Yeah, right. Are you all right? Uh, yeah. I don't know. I just don't feel so good. Um, what do you need? What can I do to help? I was just hot. Are you hot? Oh, I'm kind of stuck next to this big-ass pipe, so I'm not exactly cool. Just stay back, okay? You shouldn't be this close. There's not a lot I can do about that right now. You know what they say when it gets hot in here. What you should do. Max?
Max. Tell me what's going on. It's quite a transformation. How do you scissors to do it? So much for depth perception. Well, I'm back in here now, I guess. Let's see what that bastard cop's hiding. Just taking a little nap, I guess. Max, how you feeling? Oh, right. Yes, yeah, still werewolf. They've been in those cells. They haven't actually taken a shower in all that time. It would be kind of nice, but I mean, I guess... I guess there's more urgent things to think about. I mean, they haven't brought it up, uh, brought, it, brought it up, but they must be stankin'. Oh. At the reins of a chariot, we would all feel safer. Taking control, relying on determination to make our choices. Valiant, but in some cases foolish. Many seek refuge in chariots. Perhaps in some cases they're not as safe as we think they are. Locked. From the inside? And I guess I can't leave Max. Better keep snooping, or I could go back to my cell and wait, I guess. Well, she's been waiting in her cell for all this time. Snooping is fun. <sighs> Fuck. I'm gonna need to rest soon. Boy. Uh, Travis. 56. That means he was born in 1965. Doesn't keep the place clean, though, does he?
Gasp. Whoever was wearing this can't be doing too well. Hmm. Burned badge. This old sheriff's badge is badly fire damaged. Does it belong to the current sheriff or one of his predecessors? Well, that, that is under the freak show fire section. We did see that newspaper article about the fire, but uh, haven't really gotten all that many in the way of details about that. Snoopin? Snoopin! Full moon! On the 24th. Birthday beers! July 7th? Well, I mean, I, I don't know how knowing his birthday is going to be helpful. But I guess any information that we can get. What was that? The A prompt appeared on the screen for a sec. Hmm, syringe. This must be what he used to knock me out. I can hide this in my cell. else in here, I think. I don't think we can walk behind these lockers. Doesn't seem like it. Oh. It is that prompt. Maybe that's, yeah, that's the door. That's just the door. Business center. What are you hiding, Travis? Cease and desist letter. A letter instructing those behind the bizarre yet bona fide podcast to stop investigating Hackett's Quarry. Yes, that's the podcast that Ryan likes to listen to. Looks like that they had a, a lead, perhaps. and Edward Benson. Wonder who they are. That didn't update anything. I have exhausted this and myself. I need to sleep. We haven't exhausted everything. There's a computer over here. Look at the computer. Hello? Hello?
Not oh, that hint is a slap in the face. That's some bad uh, IT security, Travis. Fuck yeah. That's a bad refresh rate on that monitor. We've got to shut it down. Talking about the podcast. Weren't hikers at all, but ghost hunters who went in search of. All right, let's take a look at that clue. Hold on a second. A b episode of the Supernatural Investigation Podcast, Bizarre Yet Bonafide. Uh. So I guess this episode has come out. There's a fell victim to the mercy of the hag of Hackett's quarry, never to be seen again. Like us. Except for the fell victim to the mercy of the blah, 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 blah part. We're, we're more like um, ghost investigators. Specter sleuths? Sure. So what happened next? Well, according to reports from the local paper, the North Kill Gazette, some hay bales caught fire during the opening night, and that spread pretty quickly. Before they knew it, the whole place was up in smoke, including the show's leading lady and her alleged baby. Oh no, is Windows haunted? <laughs> Miss, can you please get out of my windows? I got an achievement for my haunted PC. Well, the sheriff's haunted PC. Show text. You heard this shit, we gotta shut it down. Can you handle it for me, Chris? Okay, so Chris was asking Travis to do it. I wonder if Travis suspects that these two were the podcast people. That's why he was acting incredulous at the idea that maybe they were counselors. Well, it seems like that's everything. Max sounds like he's doing fine. What's he hiding? All right, well, she was saying she needs to go take a nap. I don't know. No matter how tired she is, you'd think that, like, going back to the cell to take a nap is not a great idea, but seems like that's what she... Oh, some more things to look at. While the town of North Kill lay there sleeping, the hag in the woods started weeping. As the bodies decay, the wolves hunt their prey, and the sheriff continues his creeping. Keep, creep on, creeper. Doesn't paint a particularly favorable picture, favorite picture of Sheriff Hackett. Perhaps this isn't the first time he's locked someone up illegally. I guess that's what they use the spoon for. Etch it into the wall. Do I want to do anything with this brick? Oh, okay, that's where I'm hiding it. All right. Guess we'll take guess we're taking a nap. Let's get some shut eye as we only have the one to shut. Tell me what happened. 
I could ask you the same thing. Why didn't you run? I, I won't leave Max. I won't leave Max. This doesn't mean I trust you. I don't care. I just want to help him. Turn around, hands against the wall. Seriously? I am too tired to argue. But... Ugh. Me too. Nothing on me. Happy? Brew some coffee. What's this? An education. Watch. <laughs> nice job cleaning up. The eye. I mean... It's harder than they make out in the textbooks. Especially when nobody's helping you. You're the doctor. Uh, animal doctor. And no, I'm not. And I probably never will be. Stuck in here forever. You know... Just because you know, doesn't mean you know. You know? Uh... What? I'm not. This isn't what it seems to be. You're gonna have to be more specific. You and Max are in just as much trouble as I am. My family, we didn't mean to hurt anybody. We're just trying to survive like everybody else. Do you understand? Not really. We're gonna end this thing once and for all. We? Yeah. How's your family involved? So, how is your family involved? My family... ...is down at the bottom of a well. What? Family is the most important thing in the world. But if your whole family... ...you know, like... Every last one of them decided to jump down the bottom of a well, and they're all just... ...hanging on the end of a rope. How can one person be expected to pull them all back out? You can't. If you pull on that rope, and you're just gonna fall right down to the bottom of the well with the rest of them. And what's the point of that? Right, so you... You're the one at the top of the well with a rope, and... Yes. I thought that was obvious. Yeah, okay, yeah, I got it. Just forget it. Let's see how smart you really are. What is this? Information. Well, what does it mean? 
Read it. When full the moon above shines first, the beast internal shall outward burst. One by one leads lambs to slaughter. It stalks your breath, but shuns clear water. And should you yourself be cursed, armed with silver and the first, when moon is full before its wane, rend the beast that cursed you slain. No longer shall you face your blight or fear the dread of full moon's light. Yeah. Keep reading. Keep, keep reading. We know it's possible to kill Ted Raimi. Maybe we don't want to do that. And if it's a bite with which you're faced, cleave limb from torso with great haste. Perchance you'll save your cursed soul before infection takes its toll. Starting to get the picture. It's not a lot to go on. And frankly, it's shit. Why did they have to make it rhyme? I don't know. It's spooky, I guess. Kill the werewolf that bit you and you'll be cured. It has to be silver, has to be full moon. Seems pretty straightforward to me. If you can kill the werewolf, and that's a big if. I just want to cure Max. It's not as straightforward as you think. Well, why didn't you kill it? If you knew all this, why didn't you just kill it in the storm shelter when you had the chance? It's not so. I'm. I, I was when I straightforward. No, yeah, it's so not. You... They're not so easy to hit. I was trying to protect you too. Hmm. Well, what's the plan? So what's the plan? Well, that's where I'm hoping you'll come in. Me? Yeah. Cause your studies. I haven't even started. Well, you're the best option I got. I've been hunting this damn white wolf under the full moon so long I start to think it doesn't exist, you know? Maybe it doesn't matter, because maybe there's another way. Whatever you believe, there's got to be some science. And you do science. Look, take some time to think about all this. I'll be back in the morning. I'm back already. I don't think I'd believe a word he just said if I hadn't... If I hadn't seen that. Oh, well, I guess we believe him. I believe him. You can't tell me you really trust that guy now. I didn't say that. I said I believe him about the werewolf stuff, not the science bit. I don't know what he wants. That's pretty clear what he wants. Cop, Laura. We should be careful of anything that fucker says. Well, fuck him. He's had his chance to fix this. We're getting out of here and we're going to fix it on our own. Hey, Laura? Yeah? I saw what happened. What I did to your eye? Yeah. Is it bad? Yeah, it's pretty bad. I'm so sorry. Eh, 
you know, let's let's be empathetic about it. It's okay. It wasn't you. I know it wasn't you. I know. But it was. We're gonna fix you, Max. I promise. I promise. You said let me in there. Chris! I know there's- Oh, David Arquette's here? said you scrapped an abandoned car a while back I, I worked out the rest shit why well, why'd you think Chris Jesus Travis you're still here that's fucked up I fucking bet one of them Chris what was I supposed to do <sighs> what was that Me. I'm telling mom. Thank you, lucky stars. It wasn't silver. What's your plan? We can't keep him here forever. I'm handling it. Maybe if you'd done your job, they wouldn't have been at the camp that night. You ever think of that? If I'd have done my job, you'd all be in prison. You ever think of that? That was all Bobby and Caleb. And Are you those know hikers? It. That, that, that fucking journalist? Damn it, Travis. What are we gonna do now? Whatever happened to... We're all in this together. Shh, man. Let's go to my office. We shouldn't talk here. Max! Uh. Max! Uh. What is it? Travis was just in the hall talking, the cop. So? With Chris Hackett. Was he here to let us out? No. He's the werewolf, Max. Chris Hackett is the one that bit you down on the storm shelter. Holy shit, that's... Who would have guessed? I mean, I guess, thinking about it, I could have... And yet you didn't. It all makes sense. That's why Chris's car was at the lodge that night. Travis was protecting him. That's why he followed us, and that's why he didn't kill the werewolf in the storm shelter, because it was his fucking brother! God, it's so obvious! If, if Chris was the one that bit me, then... Yeah, then that's our cure. That's how we fix you. Jesus, Laura, are we thinking the same thing? Tomorrow, we're getting out of here. I'm gonna get Travis's gun. And kill Chris Hackett. Well, I mean, we need silver. And I think they specified it had to be under the full moon? Help her! Lord needs help! Like, it sounded like it had to be... He had to be in werewolf form. Lord, are you okay? So, like Travis said, it's complicated. What the hell's going on? Laura! <laughs> gotcha. Fuck. Okay, so hopefully we don't actually have to shoot him. Seems like that did it. Chosen. <laughs> I was starting to think you were really sick. Well, maybe I should consider acting as my major. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> we should go before he wakes yeah. up.
We should grab our staff. We need silver ammo. He must have some around here. What is it? I thought I heard someone. Someone thinks he... No, I, s I still can. It's coming from behind that door. There's nobody in here. What the fuck? He makes them. What is it? Shotgun shells. He loads them with silver. That's where he was last month, hunting. Well, I guess he won't be needing this anymore. Hey. I just realized something. We're free. <laughs> well, not until Chris is dead. No, Max. We're not free until Chris Hackett is dead. And it doesn't look like we've got much time. I know, you're right, but let's just take the win for now, huh? We'll celebrate when it's over. We're going straight to Hackett's quarry, and we're ending this. Tonight. Right, we've seen Laura running around in Hackett's quarry, but, uh, what's going on with Max? And I made my way here, to camp. Left Max at the island. Seemed like the best place for him, surrounded by water and all. Ah. That's it. That's the story. Don't all jump in at the same time. Wait. The island? Like, like our island? Like the one in the lake? Yeah, why? Because Jacob... He went back there looking for Emma, and he hasn't come back yet. Neither of them has. Oh, shit. Well, they're, they're not there now. Well, if they were there, they're not there now. What's that supposed to mean? Don't make me spell it out for you. I've just come back from there, and there's one werewolf and no people. Oh, fuck. All I know is I have to do this. I have to kill Chris Hackett before it's too late. After you saw me at the pool, after I shot Chris, um, I went back to the island expecting Max to be back to normal. But... I guess she thinks she killed uh, Chris, not realizing she killed his daughter. Max? 
Max? <gasps> Hello? should have had a better plan of rendezvousing with Max. Like, if Max, if you turn back to a human, how about you take a boat back to the shore? Instead of me going there. Maybe a bit safer. So the werewolf I killed can't have been Chris. That wasn't a werewolf. It was Haley Hackett, Chris's daughter. Whatever I shot, that was no girl. Unless, I, I guess, it turned back after I shot it when I went to the island. Wait, yeah, so all the werewolves kind of look similar. How come Max didn't kill you then? Uh, let us show a bite. He tried. I got away. I need to end this. We don't have much time. Is it Mama Hackett? So this is our new guest. Smell good, don't you? Go on, take a bow. Go on. Dumb fucking animal. the cops let me go all right let me go or i'll call the fucking cops <laughs> why are you laughing because <laughs> that was funny That's... That's too, Bobby. Hey! Hey! Hey, where are you going? Hey! Hey! It's time for the vocal track at the end of the chapter. Mm, careful what you wish. We're about to fade away from the scene. We start singing. Careful what you wish for. Oh, I hope you found some tarot cards for the old lady. She'll be upset if you didn't. Hi. Little rat. 
aren't you? Poking your nose where it doesn't belong. Don't believe everything you hear. I'm playing a video game, ma'am. I'm supposed to poke. Here we are again. Let's see what you've brought me this time, shall we? The chariot. At the reins of a chariot, we would all feel safer. Taking control, relying on determination to make our choices. Valiant, but in some cases foolish. Many seek refuge in chariots. But perhaps in some cases they're not as safe as we think they are. And the same question as always. Will you let me show you more? Absolutely. Mm hmm. Hmm. Well, you'll be seeing me a few more times before the night's over. I look forward to that as long as you follow the right path. I look forward to our meetings too. All right, so that vision didn't show much. It showed Dylan looking at something. Let's we'll take a look at that again. All right, we're, we're going to be using Ryan. Some of the characters we play more, we play as more often. Like Ryan's one of the main characters we've been playing as. Uh, let me take a look at that vision again. What did it show us for Chariot? Right, you see, so Caitlin's in the background. Dylan's the main character. He is, op he's opening a car door. They're very cautious. Okay, so it is the chariot, so it involves a car. Um, at the reins of a chariot, we would feel safer, taking control. Valiant, in some cases, foolish. Many seek refuge in chariots. In some cases, they're not as safe. As okay, so the car is dangerous. When we see a car, it is dangerous. If Dylan wants to open the car door, maybe we should not do that. Let's say. Maybe this is a what-you-shouldn't-do vision. We should not seek refuge in the chariot. Maybe. We will see. Let's take a look at these other things. Well, clues. Newspaper headline scrap. The fire of Harem Scarum six years ago took the lives of many, and it's rumored to have been arson. No wonder it made the front page. Charged Sheriff's badge. The previous sheriff was killed in the fire six years ago. So presumably this belonged to him. Travis must have succeeded him. Camp photo. C. Hackett and T. Hackett. Chris and Travis, they're brothers. Huh. Well, I didn't get whatever this is, but there's a, a, a point next to it. So there's something I missed that there would have been an update about. It seems like the game doesn't really handle that very well. A counselor's letter. Laura and Max were kidnapped by Travis and, uh, Travis, and Chris tried to hide it by not reporting that they didn't show up to camp. Makes total sense, knowing that he was on a time limit. Chris didn't want to risk the nurse being around when he turned into a werewolf. Yeah, I mean, no one should have been around. Like, camp really should have closed earlier than, than this. All right, how did our paths update? Laura and Max. Laura did not help Max. Max was angry with Laura, I, I sure, but Laura was sympathetic over the rejection letter. Laura was supportive of Travis during their imprisonment. Um, nothing, so how is that going to go? Okay, so Max is still alive. He is werewolf, but he is still alive. So, okay, since Max is still alive and is werewolf, uh, Nick is also still alive and is werewolf. And if we're able to kill the werewolves who turn them into werewolves, it means they get to survive and Nick has to deal with the crushing guilt of decapitating Abby. But we'll deal with that when we get there. When, when we get there, above the law. Laura was honest with the cop about the accident on the road. Laura did not try to take Tra Travis's gun. Laura used the syringe on Travis during her act. So I guess what this is leading to is that Travis is still alive. And maybe we'll get involved in the endgame. 
white whale. Consumed by obsession, when the chance to grasp all you ever wanted means sacrificing all you ever had, will you take it? First time we've seen this. Lara did not shoot Travis when escaping her cell. Yes. We could have killed him, but he will likely come back. Okay. This was a longer chapter than we usually have been seeing. This was the big exposition chapter where we're finding out what's going on. And, uh, okay, we're finding out what Travis's actual goal is. He, for a long time, has been searching for the original werewolf, the white wolf who appears under the full moon, under the idea that if he kills that wolf, then everyone will transform back to humans. He doesn't actually want to kill his family. He wants to kill the original wolf so his family turns back to humans. However, it sounds like his family is not actually on board with that. It sounds like maybe the family like being werewolves because Travis says that the rest of the family is at the bottom of a well. He's standing on the top trying to pull them up, but they're not going. So I guess the rest of the family is really into being werewolves, maybe, and uh, doesn't actually want to stop that. But Travis wants to actually end the whole werewolf thing. Now, uh, Laura wants to kill Chris, but it sounds like Travis does not want to kill Chris. Travis wants to kill the original werewolf, so Chris doesn't isn't a werewolf anymore. At least that's that's the idea that I'm getting. That's the impression. Um... I still don't really know about the hag. The hag who keeps whispering at us and what exactly, she, what, what path exactly she's trying to put us on. But at least we now know what Travis's goal here is. Um, so, I th actually, and so, well, I guess Lance Henriksen and Bobby, we, they're still a bit of a question mark. So they put Jacob in a cage. There's also a werewolf in a cage, and we're uh, assuming that's Nick. So they're in cages. Um, like, they're not doing anything to him right now. But they're in cages. And as we continue on, Ryan, Dylan, Caitlin, and Laura... Well, it looks like our objective is to confront Laura about, I don't know, that she's bitten... Um, and I guess we're all gonna, assuming we're all gonna go in a group to go kill Chris, if we can find him. I mean, we wouldn't even know which one he is, is the problem. Is that they all, all the werewolves kind of look the same. And Ryan is kind of put out about that, uh, one of the, one of Chris's kids is dead, because he was friends with them. So maybe that's what we're confronting Laura about. But I mean, you know, they're werewolves, it's kind of a... It's kind of extenuating circumstances. You know, it's, it's understandable. Um, but the only way this can end without anyone actually dying is, well, if only one, for one person to die, is if we can kill the original werewolf. But where is that wolf? Travis has never been able to find him. But if we do find him, I guess we do have the silver-loaded shotgun shells. Um probably we're going to have to choose, we're going to have to make careful choices about when we use those shells. Because there's really only one wolf that it's going to really matter about. I know Laura wants to kill Chris, but if we, have, if we have the opportunity, we probably should save those silver shells until we find the original wolf, who apparently is white. The others are brown. So... Maybe that's how we would tell the difference. Okay, so we've now gotten a lot of exposition. We now have a fairly good idea what's going on, though there's some mystery concerning the hunters. And uh, we now know that it is possible to save people who have been turned. And uh, Nick is going to have some... He is... Nick's not going to feel good about this whole thing. But like I said, we'll, we'll take care, we'll deal with that when we get there. When we get there. So we continue on with the quarry. 